Hey guys, it's Jen. I'm just making a video real quick. Um, I thought about the sale. Oh, today is Wednesday, April 17th, I think. Um, hold on, let me make my video, honey. Um, yeah, I'm, I was going to make this video on my way home from work, but it's crazy to drive home. Um, if there's anybody out there that's hypoglycemic, if you could like tell me what the signs and symptoms of it are. I kind of looked it up online, and it was kind of reflective of what I'm experiencing, but it's been like this for maybe the past like two weeks when I go to work. My lunch break every day is from 12. I hope you can hear me. Could you even hear anything I was saying? Anyway, if you're hypoglycemic and you can help me, let me know, because for the past two weeks while I've been at work, um, I take my lunch break from 12 to 12.45. And every day around 3 o'clock, well not every day, but most days around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I start to get like really anxious feeling, kind of. And I start shaking a little bit, my hands kind of tremble a little bit. Not really, really bad, but enough that I notice a difference. And it just kind of feels like kind of panicky a little bit, and um, I just really don't feel well. And it passes after about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, Sorry, but this is all new to me because I've never had issues with my sugar that I know of. So I'm starting to wonder if I'm starting to get a little hypoglycemic or if it's just that the stuff I'm eating um, during my lunches maybe contains too much sugar because I'm always going to fast food places, usually like McDonald's or Del Taco or I tried Arby's once, but that made me horribly sick. Um, so if any of you know anything about being hypoglycemic, if you could kind of like Give me advice on it, that would be cool. And um, I think on Friday I'm gonna do like a 24 hour fast um, or detox or whatever you wanna call it. Um, I think I kinda really need to do one. So um, anyway, that's all I gotta say today. Um, Janie had posted something on Burnett's Facebook page about this, well, Burnett posted it. It was about these different kind of push-ups you could do. And there was one where this woman was doing a push-up and then she was touching her knee to her elbow or something it was crazy and I had commented that I didn't want to do it and she's you know Janie was like yeah you can do it if just try this time next year it could be you in that picture and I responded with I didn't want to be strong and I didn't I didn't want to like do that kind of stuff I don't want to be that fit really and it's just so it's amazing how so encouraging some of these people are where they're like oh that could be you next year I know what they mean by it and they're trying to be supportive and encouraging, but there is no way I will ever, ever look like the person in that, that clip and that little example or exhibit of how to do that sit up, push up because it's just not, I know there's a lot of people that say don't limit yourself, if you can do it, you can do it. No. I don't agree with that. There's just some things you can't do, there's going to be some ways that you cannot, you cannot be, you're not going to be able to. Don't mimic yourself after that. Know your limits. <laughs> know your limits. Yeah. Something you just can't do. Anyway, I'm going to go. I will talk to you guys all soon. Talk to you later. Bye.